Ranger 3 was launched on January 26, 1962 at 8.30pm UTC from Launch Complex 12 at Cape Canaveral. Its mission was to smash itself into the surface of the moon, transmitting photos of the moon during the 10 minutes before impact. It was built by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, as part of the Ranger program of probes, all meant to impact, scouting out possible landing locations for future probes, as well as the Apollo program. Ranger 3 was launched on an Atlas LV-3B rocket with an Agena B upper stage and a mass of 330 kilograms and its large solar panels provided 150 watts of power. It had two parts, the main spacecraft with the camera, solar panels, computers and antenna, and top of it all, a small 0.65 meter diameter spherical capsule meant to impact the surface on its own, carrying scientific instruments as well as a retro rocket that could help cushion the impact a bit and potentially let the sphere survive. The main spacecraft also had mid-course correction thrusters. Rangers 1 and 2 were Block 1 type spacecraft, not meant to reach the moon, but merely to test the launcher and equipment. That was good because both launches failed due to problems with the Agena stage. Ranger 3 was the first Block 2 type, and it was aimed at the moon, but missed, passing by the moon at a distance of 36,874 kilometers. The first problem was that the Atlas guidance system stopped functioning 49 seconds after launch, and while backup program commands could jettison the boosters and start the Agena, the flight path was not being corrected, and the cutoff of the core LV-105 engine left the Agena both higher and faster than it should have been at Agena ignition. Orbit was achieved, and the Agena restarted as planned, but another guidance error put it on its high pass over the moon instead of the impact trajectory. Worse, it did not orient properly, so it ran out of power before a mid-course correction could be accomplished. Nevertheless, this was the first launch into the lunar sphere of influence since Luna 3 in 1959, a gap of over two years. It was also the beginning of the road to landing astronauts on the moon by the end of the decade, a goal President John F. Kennedy set in his address before Congress seven months before this launch on May 25, 1961. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Ranger 3.